Hey everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. It is July 6th. We are 22 days away from Summit and I'm really excited for that. Um, so tonight we have very special Lisa Humphrey um, that's going to be leading, woohoo, leading the call tonight and it's her first call. I know she's going to blow it away. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to do a little um, info before we start. Um, and I know I'm always kind of preaching to the choir because the people that get on the calls are the ones that know this. But know that we do have the team calendar. So a lot of people were asking me about um, Coach Basics, when that's starting. And we're doing that next Monday. I didn't really feel like it would have went too well if we started on the 4th. So next Monday, me and Lisa are going to be running Coach Basics. In the team page, please edit. In the file section right here in the team page, you have to be on a computer. You'll see July Coach Basics. Go to, whoops, my face is in the way. Just go to edit document, put their name, their email, and then their sponsor coach, and make sure you click save. Because if you put it in the comments, it's just really hard. Like, I mean, you'll see already, this is a lot. And sometimes people get lost. So make sure if you're adding someone, go on a computer, edit the document, save it. That's what That way it's nice and easy for me and Lisa to know who we're gonna be adding to the Coach Basics. So the calendar is always pinned to the top of the page. So that means it's the first post. On your cell phone, it's gonna say view pin post. So you have to click on that and then you'll see the calendar. Um, for the first, I think, yeah, for Team Spirits call, um, it's gonna be kind of scattered throughout the um, summer months. So just make sure that you look at it we're still going to have team calls all summer, uh, all summer long. Um, but for team spirit, there you're, you'll just have to make sure that you check um, the calendar to make sure when that's going to be. Um, and we're only doing one coach basics this month, and we're, we'll do one again on August first. Um, we're not doing an Emerald to Diamond group just because it's going to be too busy with a bunch of us leaving for summit anyways. But we'll do one in August. Um, Specials, 21 Day Fix still going on, 21 Day Fix Extreme, 22 Minute Hardcore, and really cool thing, you win that, the cool Shakeology canister if you hit Success Club 5 or above, and then you get, I think, three flavors of Shakeology, so I think that's really awesome prize, I like that one. Um, anything else that I can remember? Anything else that I missed, Lisa, for updates? No? Okay, cool. So. I'm gonna stop sharing this. If you don't know Lisa, she is one of my personally sponsored coaches. And if you don't know this kind of the story, but I was bothering Lisa for what, a year, two years, three years. Um, I bothered the crap out of Lisa because I knew she would be freaking amazing. And she is, um, but she started just as a challenger in one of my, was it 21 Day Fix groups? Yep. Yeah. And no, T25 back in the day. Wow, so that was before 21 Day Fix. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, she got really, you got great results. And she always did Beachbody programs anyways. Um, but as she got into the challenge group, she realized like, wow, I think I could actually do this coaching thing. So it's been what, almost a year or a little over a year, a year and some odd months. Um, she's a diamond coach and she's also um, Success Club All-Star 5. So that means she's hit Success Club every single month as a coach. And I think you even hit your first month that you were a coach too. Um, so that just shows that she's just been consistent throughout this entire time. And all she's, and you, you can obviously follow her on Facebook, but she's just sharing her story, sharing her being a mom, working out like life and that kind of stuff. Um, and she's be, and she's consistent and that kind of just shows how her business is just absolutely growing. She has an awesome, awesome team right now. So Lisa's going to take it away and talk to us tonight about a topic I love about kind of expanding your network outside of Facebook and things that you can do. So Lisa, thank you so much. Take it away. So I'm not going to be able to see anybody because I'm going to take my glasses off because of the glare. So I feel like when I can't see, I can't hear. Really weird. But um, so I want to talk to you guys today about conversations like having conversations when you're out and about and also about fit club 
So I know a lot of people have questions. Um, we just did our first Fit Club a few weeks ago, so I can give you some pointers and help you with that. But first, conversation. So we all know how to work our social media. We know how to post on Facebook. We know that we're supposed to be posting you know, at least three times a day um, a workout post. We're supposed to be getting in our PD. We're supposed to be drinking our Shakeology and sharing what we're doing. And a lot of people are doing awesome with that. But something that I think that not everyone is doing, because I wasn't doing it either, is what are you doing when you're out and about? What are you doing when you're at ShopRite? What are you doing when you're getting a new pair of workout pants at TJ Maxx? Are you ever saying anything to anybody that you meet about what you're doing and about your story? Um, I have a few different examples that I could help you with. So, all right, so you really just want to make sure that the people that you meet, that you're physically talking to them. So I'll tell you a quick story. When I was in TJ Maxx the other day, getting um, a new pair of shorts, we were at the checkout line, and I purposely put my 21 Day Fix containers in my pocketbook, just one of them. So I gave it to Liam because there was this girl in front of me who looked like she would make a great person on our team. So I gave it to my son and she like was like, oh, you know, he's so cute. And I was like, yeah, all the things that I, all the toys that we have, and this is what he likes to play with, my 21 day fixed containers, you know? So you're just kind of getting it out there to see, you know, I mean, that conversation could have went anywhere. It didn't go anywhere really because she kind of turned around and it was her turn to go check out, but you never know. So you want to make sure that when you're talking to people, you're, I kind of I kind of planned that conversation, you know, I just wanted um, to have a conversation like that that day. That was my my goal for the day. Um, but make sure that you're talking to people. When I go to ShopRite, okay, here's an example. Um, I was at the deli counter. So, you know, th there's other people in front of me. So I said to one um, woman, I was like, do you know um, which turkey breast has the lowest sodium? And she was like, oh, I'm not really sure. Let's ask the whatever. And then some, the other man that was there was like, oh, it's this brand, whatever it was. So then I was like, okay, you know, I try to stay away from the sodium. You know, I'm following um, a healthy lifestyle now and just trying to keep that going. Just talking to people about what you're doing um, could help spark a conversation that could really go in your favor. So even at the mall, if you go to the mall and you're shopping, I always have my Shakeology cup with me. So that's just your wear and share. So if somebody ever asks a question or if I see that they look interested in it, because I have been somewhere where um, one woman was, I guess, talking to her daughter and they were like pointing at my cup. And I was like, oh, do you guys know Shakeology? Have you ever had it before? I forget where we even were. Um, I think we were in Yankee Candle. But... That was a great way to have a conversation with her. It ended up being that her aunt was a coach, but still, you know, you're getting it out there. Um, when you go to the beach or to the pool, now here's a different kind of conversation. Some conversations, like I said, I had the container in my pocketbook, so that was planned. I had that planned. I wanted to have that specific conversation with someone that day. But one thing that you can really do that will really help you when you are out and about is take Beachbody out of the equation completely. So you're going to meet someone. Okay, so this happened at the beach um, last week when I went. The people next to us, I just asked them if they had an extra plastic fork. And then I was like, oh, how old is your son? My son is a year and a half. How old is your son? He was 19 months. Oh, are you guys from around here? Um, you know, the kids were playing with each other. So just trying to build a conversation, and then you can always say at the end of that conversation, you know, oh, are you guys, are you guys on Facebook? Or have your conversation go whatever way you want to, but you don't even have to bring Beachbody into it. You're just building a relationship with someone that you can then have prior experience with that can be your Facebook friend. So then it will be easier for you to get in touch with them and to eventually bring it up. But once someone becomes your Facebook friend, they'll see what you're doing automatically. So you won't have to do that. So that's one thing that you can do is just take Beachbody out of the equation completely when you're looking for um, people when you're out and about trying to have conversations. 
Um, the doctor, check out line at a store, like I said, anywhere that you go, just you can share your story. You can talk about Beachbody, but if it's something like I said, like the beach or the pool, um, and you have a, more of a chance to connect with someone, take Beachbody out and just talk about anything else that you could have in common. Someone might have the same car that you have. You could be at a baseball game and another mom pulls up and has the same car. Oh, do you like that car? You know, what do you like about it? I was thinking about getting one. Um, oh, can I, are you on Facebook? Maybe I could ask you some questions. Just the way for you to get more friends rather than just adding the people every day on Facebook that we're all supposed to be doing anyway. Um, like I said, just make it an excuse to talk to someone. Also, just be human when you're talking to them. You don't want to say, hey, I'm drinking Shakeology. Have you ever heard of this before? This stuff is really great. You know, like we always say and we've learned in Coach Basics, we don't want to beach body vomit on them. It's the same thing when you meet someone. Just be yourself and you will find that you'll have things in common with other people. Let's see. Okay, so I have a story. I went to a baby shower. Um, a few weeks ago and Sarah was there with me. So I guess one of my friends must have mentioned that, oh yeah, she um, did the 21 day fix. So I showed them a before and after photo. So I think that one great thing to do is keep a before and after picture on your cell phone where in a place that you don't have to scroll through 900 pictures to get to it so that you know where it is. It doesn't even have to be your own. It could be, you could just say, I mean, take mine. You could just use anybody on the team and say, Oh, this is my friend. Um, this is her before and after, you know, whatever. So I showed the girl my before and after. And then um, I was drinking lots of sangria that day. <laughs> and, you know, we just kind of started talking. And I was like, yeah, this summer I'm going skinny dipping, no chunky dunking for me anymore. <laughs> I mean, it was just funny. But I was telling them how. Beachbody fits into a normal lifestyle. Like I was like, look, I'm here, I'm having fun. I'm, I'm gonna eat this cake because I can, because most of the time I'm following the nutrition plan and I'm always doing my workouts. So this is something that can adapt to your normal lifestyle. You really, you know, you, of course you make healthier choices, but other people want to see that. They just wanna see somebody being real. So when they see that, wow, you know, she had a transformation and look at her, she's like, she's still having fun and she's still having a drink. And I showed them my workout picture from earlier and the food that I ate the day before to show them that, you know, it's not, you can't just do whatever you want. You have to put some work in. And since that baby shower, I signed up one discount coach and um, sold one challenge pack to someone who now I'm helping her meet her goals. So that if that conversation never happened, I would have been, I would have never gotten those four points and the one girl already lost four pounds and she wouldn't have been there if I hadn't brought that up that day. So definitely please just mention whenever you're out, talk about it. Um, you know, if someone, usually I will not talk about my nutrition, my food, but everywhere I go and some of you being beach body coaches might realize this too. Someone always brings up, oh, what are you eating? Oh, your workout today. I saw you working out up there. So what, you're going to have this now? Well, yes, leave me alone, first of all. But it does make a really good conversation starter. Um, so that was that. Um, like I said, just eliminate Beachbody from the conversation if you have to to get something started. And always ask them at the end, are you on Facebook? So that you can follow up and connect with that person. Um, okay, so that's really it for conversations with people, but just make it a point when you're setting your goals for the day, your daily goals or your weekly goals, make it a point to say that you're gonna have one or two conversations um, this day or this week. Since um, Rose told me that I'd be doing this call, I was like, well, I need some good examples then of you know, talking to people. So I made it a point every time that I was out to start a conversation with someone. And not only does, you know, did that help towards my business and help me meet my goals and where I want to be, but it just helps you feel more comfortable in doing it. So yeah, the first time, the second time, it might feel a little weird, but 
Um, you'll get used to it the more that you do it. So let's move on to Fit Club, which I know that a lot of you might have questions about. So I started, um, I had this idea in my head, and that was maybe around, you know, April, uh, March or April. And I said, I want to do, I didn't even know that, that like a fit club was really a thing, but I said, I want to do this um, workout where I can have it at my house. I just had this vision in my head. I want to do it at my house. I want to have people come. I want to have all of my girls, um, my personally sponsored coaches with me. And I want us to run this, you know, we called it a Saturday sweat. So I want to be able to do this. My idea in my head was that I want to go to the park and hand out flyers when I'm with my son at the park and hand out flyers to all the moms there. Well, that didn't happen, but it is now for my second one because now I feel more comfortable after we've had our first one. But um, first I had a vision about it, right? So then I talked to my personally sponsored coaches and said, all right, this is kind of my idea and can we make this happen? And they are also awesome and, and said, of course we can make this happen. So the first thing that we did was pick the date. Okay. So that's the first thing you need to do is have a vision. Second thing you need to do is pick a date and a location. So you might want to um, just take some notes so that you guys can see if you ever want to start a fit club. So have the vision, pick a date and a location. I did my backyard. You can do a local park. Um, someone I was um, researching a few things did a gymnastics place and they asked them if they could give like a free workout to um, the, all the people that work there if they could get the workout space so I mean that's a good idea too if you were trying to find like a Knights of Columbus or something um, offer them something I mean whatever you can you know make it have value to them so that they're more likely to give you the space. So for the winter, I plan on um, having a space that we can still do it in. You can run them weekly, monthly. I would like to do one a month. Um, that's just my goal for right now. So a vision, a location, and a date. And the next thing that you want to do, which I did not know these existed, I made everybody hold their hands up at my house and say that no matter what happens, I am not responsible for the damage done. So there's actually a waiver, okay? So this is called a coach fitness waiver and release. And these are in your coach online office. So you can find these, uh, I wrote it down. If you go to your coach online office and go to news and training, okay? And in there is the meeting resource center. And under that, there's a whole bunch of stuff about Fit Club. So you can print this waiver right from there, have your guests, um, you just have to put in, they have to put their name and then the coach's name that is running it. And then at the bottom, they'll date it, print their name and sign their name. That's it. Then they could just leave it there in a pile for you. Another thing that you want to do is have a sign in. So I made one already for the next Fit Club. Um, name, email, and I think I did date of birth. And I, I don't know why, but... I think I just needed another box to fill. <laughs> so um, have a sign in so that you know, cause there were a few people that were here that were friends of friends um, that I, I didn't know. Um, some of the other girls might have known them, but just so that they even have their email, just in case they're not already friends on social media or they would like to follow up with them. Phone number, that would be good too, phone number. So um, the waiver and a sign in sheet. Okay, the next thing that you can do is figure if there's going to be any out-of-pocket costs. So we did a Shakeology bar, which was really cool. Um, I said in advance, you know, the Fit Club is free, and I'm going to have all bottled, bottled water for everybody. We're going to do prizes. And then um, for their Shakeology, if they wanted to try it, they could pay $5, and that just covered their Shako. And then I just um, did everything else, like just, you know, what did I get? Like the extracts and fruit for your shakes and um, peanut butter and, you know, anything that you could possibly put into a shake. We had all of our favorite recipes um, lined up and then they could check out the recipes, see which one they wanted. We had bananas, blueberries, 
anything that you could possibly put into your shake was there and available to them if they wanted to try it. So how we set it up, we had the four of us standing behind the table and we had four different blenders. It, got, it was crazy. We had 18 people there. So we were all, no, we were all like, I need this, I need that. And we're going back and forth and passing the peanut butter. <laughs> but it was really cool. So everybody had their, I told some people in advance, just bring a shaker cup if you have it. Um, and then of course we had cups for everybody else, but everybody got to try it. And I had one person tell me that her and her husband, um, she would like more samples so that her and her husband can try it and see if they would like to purchase Shakeology. So that was cool. Um, another thing you'll want to do is, and you don't have to do the Shakeology bar. That was our first thing. So I wanted to try that, you know, um, but you can talk about nutrition while you're doing the workout and in between everything, but you don't have to have them pay for anything. So the next one, I would like to just run a free fit club, just show up, you know, where they don't feel like they're required to purchase something. And then maybe the next I'll do the Shakeology again. So when are you talking to these people when they come to your event? Make sure that you tell them that you want them to show up 50, at least 15 minutes early. So if you want to start at 11, tell them that it starts at 1045. Um, we had them get there a half hour early, which kind, then I kind of felt bad. That might have been a little bit too much. So take my advice and experience because um, I felt bad. I told people it would be about an hour and then they're standing around, you know, they weren't, everybody was still having fun, but in case they have somewhere to be, you don't want to keep them waiting. If you were at a gym, they're not going to wait 10 minutes for somebody to show up. So have them arrive about 15 minutes earlier so that then that's when you get all the talking in before it starts and after when it's finished. That is when you are connecting with the people and having conversations with whoever is there. Um, for the next one, I would like to give tickets to whoever brings a friend. And there's another person you're getting the friends email and obviously they're already interested in fitness because they're coming to your event. Um, perfect person to follow up with after that. So figure out your out of pocket costs for whatever you're going to have. And if they want, they can sample whatever beach body things you have. Maybe you have some packets of the um, performance line whatever you would like to do. It's really just how you want to run it. It's like I said, the first thing was to have your vision, whatever you would like to do, do it. Go ahead. Just however you would like to do it. Um, let's see. Okay. So today it took me a while. Um, but I finally uploaded every picture from our Saturday sweat, but I purposely didn't upload them the day after because then it would be done and you know, the pictures are there and it would be forgotten. Instead, I used the first picture for a throwback Thursday the following week. Then I used one for, um, you know, I just did one, I think two days after the event and then posted like, what a great time we had. And then you're getting more people interested and more people seeing it rather than just posting all the photos as soon as it's done and it's over. So make it last for a few days and it'll get more people um, involved in looking at your posts. So I posted that album today and put out um, a save the date for the next one. And there's already, a, you could check out the album. There's already a ton of people saying, I want to come. Can I bring a friend? And I was like, yes, yes, yes. So that's um, definitely something you want to do. Post the album, tag people in it. It'll get their friends looking at the photos. Tagging people is like, the best thing if you're not if they're not already a coach because other people are seeing what they're doing and it's kind of like you're it's kind of like a free audience for you is their friends seeing what's on their page that you tag them in let's see what else here um sign in sheets and waivers we talked about um you can make a list too of equipment and supplies that you'll need like I, I, I made a list, like I'm a crazy list maker. So I made a list like for the Shakeology bar, what will we need? So I wrote everything down by category, by fruit and extracts and this and that. And then like, how many waters should we need? Do we need two coolers? How many bags of ice, you know, make a list. If you're going to do, um, if you're going to have weights involved, do they need to bring their own weights? Are you going to supply weights for them? 
we did, um, the way that we did our workout was I had each girl pick a couple moves from a certain program. So we did moves from 21 day fix, 22 minute hardcore. Um, we did the battle buddies that Kelly did, which was really awesome. Everybody loved doing the buddy moves. So that was really fun. Um, you know, just a couple different programs and then we just combined them all together. I made a list and I stuck them out there. Um, all the moves on individual index cards. And then once we finished the move, we turned it over or by the end we were just throwing them down because everybody was so, um, so crazy with the workout already that they were like so glad that it was over, but it was really, we really did it in a fun way. And that's what you want to do with your fit club. Make it genuine, make it really fun for them, make it motivating and make it uplifting. So those are the four things that you should be focusing on when you're planning your fit club and when it's in action. So fun, genuine, motivating, and uplifting. I mean, it, when we got done, everybody was like, that was so great. Like everybody was on a natural high. It was just like when you leave a super Saturday and you just feel so good because you're around all these great people and like-minded people. And it was the same thing with our, with our fit club day. It was really fun. So just don't forget too that your objective as a coach is to help customers and help, I mean, help people who become your customers, but make them reach their goals. So you are just helping other people reach their goals. And by doing that, you are in turn reaching yours. So if you guys have any kinds of questions about Fit Club, you know, obviously we could ask me as soon as this is over. Um, but... Another thing to um, work the workout, how we did it, another way to do it and a super easy way to do it. And the way that Beachbody would like you to do it is just um, play a video, play it. And that's it. So pick a 21 day fix video, pick whatever one you want to do, um, play it and you're good to go. But since we were doing it outside and we had quite a few people, I didn't, I was like, couldn't figure out in my head. I didn't have the vision. <laughs> of how I was going to get um, a screen out there that was large enough for everybody to see in the middle of the day and I don't have a projector and how much was that going to cost for me to rent one. Um, so all of that kind of stuff depends. If it was indoors, maybe it would have been easier to just play it on a bigger TV screen. But, you know, you can really do it however you want. There's tons of ways. Play a video. Um, do a couple moves, show them a move and then all do it together. Show them a move and then watch them do it so that you can help them whatever way you would like to do it. But, um, if anyone has any questions, I think, um, I think we're good, but don't forget where the waivers are too. If you're planning on doing one, because totally better than me telling them to watch their ankles and <laughs> make sure that there's no holes in the ground in my backyard. <laughs> No, that was awesome, awesome, awesome stuff, Lisa. I mean, I don't think we've talked about this stuff like ever on a team call. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad that you kind of brought these things up because I think we're so used to Facebook. We're so used to kind of hiding behind the screen because back in the day before Facebook really started, like Beachbody was about like, face-to-face -face interaction, like people to people. And that's how like Bob Lucido and Lisa Hansen, like that's how those people got started with this business and really made the biz business successful. They really didn't have much of a um, big following on Facebook. And I mean, if you go to Bob Lucido's page, there's barely anything on there. He did most like network marketing, networking, face-to-face -face with people. Um, so I loved how you said like it was your goal that day to talk to somebody about that shaker bottle with Liam. Like that's just like you are speaking with intention and speaking with purpose. And that's what you need to be doing. Like wear your, you know, wear and share. So if you don't know what wear and share is, wear your, <laughs> wear your, uh, wear your gear or bring your shakeology bottle. And that's just going to, you know, strike up a conversation with people. Um, one of my stories with, you know, talking to people in person, I'm sure a couple of you have heard the story already, but with Jessica Bryson, I went into Athleta with the mindset of just 
putting my business card. And this is how scared I was. I had Dave with me. I went in with my business card and I literally freaked out and I walked out and Dave's like, you better get back in that store. I was like, shit. I'm like, why did I bring him with me? Um, so I went back in the store and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to maybe like try on some clothes, talk to people. Um, and I started talking to this lovely girl called Jessica Bryson. And I was telling her how I'm an athletic trainer and, you know, Dave's living here and I live all the way over there. And, you know, we're in the long distance relationship thing. And then she mentioned that her dad knows someone in this high school. Anyways, if I didn't get have the guts or have Dave push me to have the guts to go back in there, I don't I would not have much of a team right now. Um, Jessica was absolutely crucial in me building this enormous team. So she was one person. Um, another time I was talking to somebody in, I think it was like a tractor supply company store. Um, when I, I used to have chickens and we first got, when we first got the chickens, I had no idea what I was doing. So I'm like in the aisle, like aimlessly, like looking at like chicken food and all this stuff. And um, this lady was just there and she's like, oh, you have chickens. And we just started talking didn't mention anything about Beachbody. And I was like, are you on Facebook? Do you mind if I friend request you in case I have any more questions? Um, and I talked to her about chicken stuff. And what do you know? She saw all the posts I was doing about 21 Day Fix, and sooner or later, she became a coach, um, a discount coach. So you really never know. Like, it doesn't, like Lisa said, it doesn't have to be about Beachbody. Um, you know, instead of walking in stores with your head down, or what your head looking at, you know, your cell phone, look up at people, look at people in the, in, you know, eye to eye and just say hi. And that's how you're going to strike up a conversation. Um, so this business is really about not who you know now, but the people you're going to meet, right? Because people ask me that all the time. Like, how do you still have people after three and a half years? Because I've grown my network since three and a half years. It's not like these are all the same people I've known three and a half years ago, it's because I keep meeting new people all the time. So I love that. Just get out there, meet new people wherever you go, whether it's a baby shower or shop right. Um, I think it might've been like two super Saturdays ago. I don't know if any, if you remember Lisa, but I think Jen O'Connor was talking um, about like she was in shop right. And I think she was like in the cookie aisle or something. And a woman reached up, like to grab like a cookie or something. Um, and she said like, oh, this is going to ruin my diet. And Jen said, I could have A, walked away and laughed. Or what she did do, she said, oh, what kind of diet are you on? And what do you know? She got her contact information and she joined her challenge group the next, you know, the next week. Um, so little conversations like that where you can kind of laugh at that, you know, oh, ha ha, that's funny you know, or you can be intentional and ask a question of, oh, what kind of diet are you on? Or, oh, what do you think this is? Or like Lisa was saying about um, the, the turkey sodium thing, ask people questions. You have no idea where that conversation is going to go. Um, and fit clubs are absolutely like people um, that are connected with Bob Lucido. I forget, I don't know if, he, if he's Bob's personally sponsored coach, um, but one of the coaches up in Massachusetts, that's all he does is he ran his business with the fit clubs. Um, and it like spread like wildfire, like Lisa just started hers, but she posted the pictures today and now it's kind of just spreading because people are kind of seeing it, hearing it. I love that you mentioned, you know, tag people, in those photos because then their friends are going to see it and want to join. And that's how you kind of spread your network out. And that's how you grow by just one person. And then that just kind of multiplies. Um, so my kind of experience with fit clubs and this got me started too. So like this was all like when I first started with like talking to people and doing like a fit club was my aunt was a part of a twins club. And first she asked me to speak just like athletic training stuff, like 
doing, I don't know, I don't even know if I was a coach back then, but I did like a talk with them on like using like bands and like flexion and extension and like, l- like silly exercises that people can do. Um, and then I may, might have like talked about nutrition. Um, but after that, I came back for a second time and did like a fit club with them. So I think I brought like Slim and Six, which is like the easiest program that like anyone can do. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's more of like a, a 90s version <laughs> of like Jane Fonda. But um, so I, I did that maybe like 20 minutes with them. And then my mom helped me and we had um, just like a table of like pretty much like all the products. Like I saved all the boxes from the workouts that I got. That way I can have like all pretty much like I think I have I do have all the workouts. I had them all displayed on the table. Um, we had samples of Shakeology for people to try with like Dixie cups. Um, and it was free because it was part of the twins club. So they didn't have to pay anything for it. Um, and then I got like P90X bars. I cut them up. I had people have that. Um, and that was a huge success for me just because I think I got a few discount coaches from that. Um, and even still today, I think that was probably about two and a half years ago. Those, I still have some of those, um, some customers through that. So whether it's like you're inviting people to your house or maybe you know someone that's a part of like a twins club or like a PTA or me and Jessica Bryson, we even did um, some like fit clubs for just like mom groups. So what I, after that, mom's um after this i did the twins club i googled um like new jersey mom clubs or new jersey you know there's so many mom's clubs out there especially like for each county each county usually has one and i emailed everybody um and i think i got like maybe like three or three responses and then like one person was like yeah come and do um a fit club with us so you, you never know where that's gonna lead um I know I, I talk a lot, but um, does anyone have any questions for Lisa or any any um, questions about how to do a fit club or a conversation you're having face to face? Don't be shy. Anybody else out there um, have a fit club, or is everyone kind of a little hesitant? about starting one. Can I say something? Of course. So one of my personally sponsored brand new coaches is on the call with us tonight and she texted me and she said, you know, we should, we should do a fit club. Like we could call it this. It'd be so great. Here's the thing. I still look kind of dumb doing a lot of these workouts. <laughs> like my form is still, I, I'm hurt. Some, I've done something today. I don't know how. Um, so I kind of like, I love that idea. And I know a lot of people I know would probably love to like try the workout first and see what it's about. But uh, what if I look like an idiot and I don't know how to help them? Legit concern. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't worry about that. I feel like that's the same thing. Like I, I feel like it's when I started coaching, I was 50 pounds heavier and I was like, how, like, how am I going to be a coach if I, I don't look like a freaking coach? Like, they're going to look at me and say, why the hell is this girl a beach body coach? But nobody really did. You know, I was just, I was getting it done and it wasn't pretty, but you know, I was doing it and I was posting videos of my moves and they weren't the greatest either, but I was putting them out there for everybody to see. But I think that if you played, if you did one of the videos, you know, they they could, they see how it should be done, you know, and then you can just tell them, you know, if it's hard. You can follow the modifier, um, which that was huge. And that's another reason why you want them to sign the waiver. You don't know these people's fitness level. You don't know their right. health records in front of you, but they don't know yours either. So you can be like a great fit person. I mean, I couldn't do half these moves. If you look through my album, there's one of them and my face is like, Ooh, because it was super hard to do, but you know, it, you're just trying. So I bet you, I guarantee you that there's other people that are going to be in the same boat as you, um, that are going to have a hard time doing the moves. But as long as they're looking at the video, you could like, you could tell them and you even say to them, like I told them, I was like, this is really hard for me to talk and do these moves at the same time, but I'm just going to try. So you could tell them just watch the video and that's how you do the moves correctly. I'm still like working on my form, but, um, you know, check them out. So 
it can be done, but just maybe you'd want to do something like that. And they don't okay. expect you to be like autumn calibre. It's like they know, like it's, I think it's better <laughs> because you're like a real person doing it. Like you're not like the professional, you're just another person like them and you can't be perfect and you don't expect them to be perfect. So I think that's actually a benefit. Okay. Okay. I didn't think of it that way, but that's yeah, very true. Yeah, definitely. Um, we can all look like idiots together. It'll be great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sarah was on point with that. And I think most people are thinking what you're thinking. They're wondering if anyone else is looking at them. Right. They're not right. worried about you. They're worried about, oh my gosh, what do I look like? So if you're thinking that, everyone's thinking the same thing about themselves. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Okay. The, and that's why you do, like Lisa said, technically you're supposed to let the video do it, but that's why you have the DVD for them to follow. And what you can kind of do too, um, and I just learned this from being like the, an insanity instructor, but you don't have to be an instructor or whatever in anything. Um, you could just walk around and say like, you know, and just motivate them, like go lower or, you know, if they're like um, doing like high knees and they're bringing their knees up, just put like your hand out there. Come on, high. Right. So you don't technically have to be doing the move. You can just be next to them, like motivating them and like, you know, kind of being like how Autumn is or, or Sean T is and, and just, you know, motivating them. Um, so you can do like, like for me, like, cause I have a really bad wrist. Um, I'm like, how would I even do push-ups in front of people because my wrist is so weak? I could do one or two push-ups and then get up and walk around and, and just, like, motivate people. Yeah. Got it. Good plan, good plan. Okay. I actually have a, I actually have a question, too. Um, so I had somebody in my town that I told Lisa about this that actually has a small gym space, and he wants to grow his, like, women to come in, and he – actually reached out to me and and offered me space to do something in and I was just like not sure about the rules and this is before we did the fit club but I wasn't sure about the rules and then I was reading like if you're going to do it like consistently I don't know if it like if you're going to be an instructor you have to get certified and so then I was like I don't know um so in that situation is do you think it would be better for me to like do a video uh, or should I do like an entire workout? Like, should I do like uh, a sampling of, you know, like, okay, today, like we're going to do 21 day fix extreme upper body and they do that whole half hour. Or if I consider doing that, like, I, you know, what do you think? Legally, as long as you're kind of showing the videos and they're seeing, you know, the disclaimer, <laughs> and they sign the waiver uh -huh. you're good um if you're if you're doing what you guys did in your backyard in a gym setting and not having that video and not like playing the dvd then i would say yes you do need to be okay like you know insanity certified or whatever certified whatever okay. that you're teaching okay got it yeah good question Anyone else with comments, questions? I just want to say that was a great call, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, Lisa! Thanks, sir. <laughs> great job for your first I gotta time. I got to be able to see you guys again. Oh, there you hey, are. Hey, there you are. How you doing? Yeah, no, that was an awesome call. Yeah, I took, I got notes here, so we're good. <laughs> cool. So I hope everyone's going to go out there this weekend and talk to people face-to-face. -face. And, like, go, at, for me, I think, like, going into, like, athletic stores is just, like, a no-brainer for us. Or even what I've been doing, too, um, in Avalon, there's, um, like, a smoothie shop. So I've been going in there and getting, um, what have I been getting? Like, some, like, spinach, whatever. Um, but I, I know her name now. I walk in there. I'm like, hey, Danielle, what's up? What's going on? So I'm just building that relationship with her. Um, and then I, I know one day she's going to be like, so why are you always here? Like one o'clock in the afternoon. Don't you have a job or something? <laughs> um, so go to places that you know that you're going to find the people that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And we'll leave it at that.
One more thing. Everybody, can everybody smile real quick so I can take a picture? I don't really know how to do this. <laughs> okay, say cheese. <laughs> oh, I can do a screenshot, Lisa. Hold okay, on. do a screenshot. Yeah, I'll do a gallery view. Tracy, put that light on. I can't see your face. <laughs> <laughs> and who else? Courtney, you're in the dark too. There we go. All right, hold on. Give me one second and I'll do a screenshot. One, two, oh, three. Hey. That was a good one. Cool. <laughs> All right, ladies. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lisa. Awesome job. Bye. Thank Bye. You.